in the fields of or the plains of despair. I call it the plains of the woe, where all world conflict is stored in the livestock, and they who have no Jordan River of baptisms to be freed in something worthy to baptize them in the water of pureness and offer them up as a priest or a preacher or a pope would. The Stygian realm, the realm of the dead, or the realm of childbirth, knowing, uh, well, the family of the lambs, and the bull labeled as lust, and in some um, scenario, pride in childbirth, or uh, a woe in childbirth when lust in James 1.15 comes down and uh, is a part of the vessel of a child in the flesh. Understanding Beowulf as a uh, child of Odin in the flesh, Odin as a god of gold, and in the flesh Beowulf, and then so on into the great wars, um, where people had failed in heart, had failed in eyes, and had failed in mind with God, and was growing closer to the reins of a bit and bridle for war. And uh, lust, the number one war, and hatred and plains of despair or planes of the woe, where the woe is stored off into the beast when God, closest to God, is lust, when God cannot find peace in the man and the woman who had made their flesh in a union and uh, went to war. The family of the lands, Belwell, who had given to... Uh, well, a child with someone uh, named Caesar, I think it was Delphi, um, the devil oracle, who is a part of the true vine in the tree of Judah, hung on the tree of Levi, Levi, Levi also being Judah, meaning uh, the Leviathan, the pale rider, or hermaphrodite child, hermaphrodite soul, the mercury child, the pale rider being nature, and and nature, uh, flesh being of nature, but not nature, and flesh is that childbirth of a bell wolf, the bull, or Caesar the bull, that first rider, the white rider, and the pale rider, St. Matthew, and Beowulf, but St. Matthew is made equal to Artaxerxes in the heavens as the centaur that sits in the same seat of Orion, and uh, the, the rod of the earth shared with the rod of the sea, the penis fish, and the earthworm where flesh that has no savior, Caesar, not, not necessarily bell wolf, but something took place in that, um, that birth of Caesar, and it, it, it appears to be some treachery to me in some of the literature that, that it, that has been observed, uh, in, in the slothful count, and, and I don't, I don't wish to uh, start any war according to the, the honey and the bitter honey. The honey and the bitter honey. I mean the raw honey and then the honey that is re, um, refurbished or furbished or furnished by flesh, man. That will be Jesus Christ and Annika.
this is the family of the land. Understanding that Solomon is cursed to the fool. And Caesar had become the fool in, in Belwolf. But Belwolf is something that fought in Artaxerxes' time against the Viper Medusin at the Tree of Golden Apples. No one really knows if he failed that war or not. And this is, again, it is not anywhere in the Bible that says these things are true, nor is it on any TV film. They have displayed it in another manner, the story of Bell Wolf, and I don't, I don't buy it whatsoever. Um, I bite it like a serpent, that's why. <clears throat> and um, lust is the food in understanding flesh of nature but not nature and then um, the curse bull labeled as um, lust and all childbirth and all world conflict is stored in the stygia beast that seeks somebody to baptize them and offer them up for purity and freedom freedom and something that God finds worthy to pick up and the land is free from that final prophecy of burning. The man uh, favored in the union where the staffs of favor and union have been broken and all covenants between God and Israel have been broken and uh, that um, fiery bliss had been placed upon one man's shoulders and he had carried the cross for a lot of species a person or entity or omniscience that is a gift placed upon a man for pure words of knowledge and wisdom that god may uh, free us and be happy with the offering it says man-made offering and then it says God buying back his child that man had taken at a young age, yet man still tries to take at a young age, received in a instruction by, well, Isis with Hesperus or Isil with Hesperus. And I don't, I don't have knowledge of wisdom of exactly what covenants were made between the Spanish and the Africans with Hesperus at the tree of golden apples where the three sisters are said to sing the man to sleep where he could not be awake and slew his entire family like it is written with Hercules, one of the uh, pig demons. That is how it's written. With Perseus as a pig demon, of Circe as a pig demon, and as Herod, the sloth demon, um, a part of the tree of Judah. Levi being Judah. Uh, and what wars took place in that family, labeling Jesus Christ as their God, being flesh. A pig that eats flesh flesh the most unclean thing in the whole world is feces flesh human flesh or pig flesh or lizard flesh is how it's written in uh, the understanding of well demons evil flesh flesh being a substance used in uh, controlling manners when coveted by a large pound or heavy weight of it. But Solomon cursed to the boys the black scales or the black lamb of God and St. Matthew, the hermaphrodite species interchangeable between male and female plantation that produces its own seed and whatever species that produces its own seed. St. Matthew in union with Belwolf made equal with Artaxerxes, the son of King David, St. Matthew, 
the son of King David, Solomon. King David, the red lamb, the red rider, uh, the king of peace who uh, fought many wars for the children of God and constitution and law and rights before his final days when his eyes were closed down with a pig in his own bosom. And did Caesar do the same thing to St. Matthew at the cross reborn in Jesus Christ? And the pig denied uh, Jesus Christ as his savior. And then St. Matthew accepted him as his savior and they were all counted as thieves in the sloth court. Herod, Herod's court, I call him sloth steward. In the, in the received instruction of Isis and Isis, Caesar, uh, or the woman or the false hermaphrodite, the one who wants to be like Saint Matthew, the one who wants to be like King David by putting a pig in its bosom and making a copy image of him and uh, stealing intellectual properties. It is said that the Lord seeketh all inventions in, in the biblical scriptures uh, and how well obedience to the ear of instruction is Isis and Isis I would not put my faith in the in the ear um, covered however it is great to be with a good uh, part of councils known as the exalted judge, um, the exalted stripper, or the exalted whore, damsel, the exalted police officer, the exalted president, governor, senator, the exalted. They will not exalt the poor man. But the family of the land, Belwolf, who had went and fought Artaxerxes' child, and I think there's some trickery and treachery in that war uh, with Delphi. Artaxerxes deal with the devil Delphi for the Viper Medusa, and Belwolf, who came to fight that child, Viper Medusa. Uh, trickery and treachery ended up with a birth of Caesar, and Artaxerxes took over the Ark. How? The birth of darkness in Caesar uh, with Beowulf and then King David, who shared the ark with Artaxerxes um, as the rod of the earth and the rod of the sea in the Trinity with the Savior Jesus Christ. Beowulf the white rider, King David the red rider, who fought Artaxerxes and Hercules finished after he broke out of the Colosseum. Uh, with the Viper Medusa. I'm not sure if Hercules made it past the Viper Medusa. Um, they said he slewed his entire family. And because of the blood, he has to have a savior. And that savior is Jesus Christ and a uh, favored saint. And what 144,000 saints are mistreated for theft of fire and intellectual property or invention. If if the saint is thefted from it is considered a mark in heaven as another saint uh, beaten, stricken like Jesus Christ and put to a cross that another may put money in their pocket. I've uh, read the Bible fully and understand it fully and have my own scars. But it is well loved on TV, so I do not hate my life knowing that if I hate something, I cannot take it to heaven with me. And this is the understanding of Jesus Christ being a savior for all people, for he loved even to the end. His love was great. Even in being stricken, his love was great. And uh, one of the strongest um, known in history as Jesus Christ. And then the the Red Rider King David and then the Pell Rider 
uh, St. Matthew in a union with the brothers in arms, um, Solomon, who is to find salvation as well in uh, the culture of law or the six dark churches of law. Solomon having a, uh, a wickedness in the helmet of salvation with every single dark-eyed Stygian beast that is filled with a cup of lust. Every man of woe with woman, childbirth, every law of judgments where the, the people had animal sacrifice upon them and that judge just shoots it into the nature or into the wild and into the beast and into the cattle and livestock and their eyes, their heart, their mind is no longer with nature and God. They don't see it and eventually the world will be destroyed. Their eyes, their mind, and their heart is no longer with the atmosphere and the oxygen we breathe. They, they don't see it no more. Eventually the world will be destroyed. And finally, the pale rider, Levi, who is uh, the hermaphrodite nature of flesh, but flesh is not nature, but it is of nature, or uh, the hermaphrodite who is worthy with Jesus Christ, made equal to the Father in the Trinity, where King David is the Holy Ghost in the Trinity. Jesus, reborn in St. Matthew, makes St. Matthew equal to the uh, Artaxerxes, the tree of Judah, the tree of Poseidon, and brother of Orion, and brother of Zeus, brother of Hades. Uh, these are the four known lords or gods, and St. Matthew is known as a lord or a god upon the earth, where Artaxerxes is the fifth one. There is Artaxerxes, Poseidon, and I'm not sure if that is actually true because Artaxerxes chose money in the church and killing God. So it would be St. Matthew, it would be Poseidon, it would be Hades, it would be uh, Zeus and Orion. Those are the five lords, and they all have favor with Jesus Christ upon the earth for a, uh, a system of salvation or a greenhouse effect knowing that flesh and lust is a part of nature and nature is the hermaphrodite mercury child that is labeled with saw and luna the sun and the moon the shadow that sleeps with the spirit and breaks the dragon horn this is the trickery and treachery with him who carried the dragon or and the very shadow of God, the very shadow of God who tricked him and slept with the spirit of nature that was said to be a dragon roaming the waters to and from uh, Satan. And uh, Jesus, who is the father of Satan, uh, made a deal with the devil Delphi 40 days and 40 nights this is this is other trickeries and treacheries no one can say correctly what it was and when it took place the deal between the devil Delphi or Oracle a part of the tree of Judah as the true vine Satan's childbirth the the nature with Saint Matthew the hermaphrodite child in the family of the four lambs with the Ark Artaxerxes um, in Beowulf's time with King David and Solomon and St. Matthew and then finally Jesus and then Judah hung on the tree of Levi and Levi is Judah. This is the other um, well I can't quite I want to know what actually took place, but there is some treachery and all of that stuff. I thought I would take the time and, uh, well, in my in my slothful nature right now with counsel, uh, that is not 
uh, wise to listen to all the time. However, it is good to have counsel.